Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the end of January into February. We're just kind of, I wanted to touch base since I had been sick and not been able to get you guys your readings out for mid-month. So we'll see what's going on there. We're going to look into your recent past, your current energy and the near future. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. That information's in the description box below or in my about section. All right, so let's see. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm gonna clear a little bit of kitty here. Um, if this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. Okay, so in the recent past, the energy is the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the King of Swords with the Five of Swords. In the current energy, wow, we have the Ace of Cups. So there's something good that seems to want to come around into your life. <clears throat> it could be that you just recently met somebody. Wow, and then the Wheel of Fortune. So this is going to be a really, really good couple of weeks for you guys. As you're moving from Capricorn into Aquarius season and then into your own season, it looks like things are going to be picking up just a bit. Maybe your energy starts to feel like it's picking up. So we have the Ace of Cups in your current energy with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Emperor and the High Priestess. Such amazing energy in the near future. The overall is the Knight of Wands. So this to me is basically saying that where things had been moving a little bit slowly in the recent past or in the last couple of months, if you just hadn't felt as fired up as you normally would, um, or just not feeling like you really want to push through, uh, you guys are really pushers. So if you've been feeling a little held back or maybe just not as excited about getting going, you could just be revving up for your season and getting ready for something that's going to pick up because it looks like um, some good things have happened in the recent past and they're just going to continue happening. Now, the Knight of Swords, this is an energy of somebody who's going to come in clearly. And then we have the Two of Cups right behind that that wants to either take a relationship from a friendship into the next step. That could be just for a few of you. This is someone who maybe hid their feelings for you over a period of time. And now they are just feeling like they have to come forward and say something like they can't hold back anymore. This could also just be a friend that wants to say, hey, what's going on? I want to catch up. I haven't seen you in a while. You know, I've been doing my own thing. How you been type of energy. Um, two people like getting back together and hanging out and having some fun and just catching up on stuff. The Queen of Swords, like saying, hey, this is what I've been up to and um, just missing you. I feel like you've got some friends that may, if you've been sort of pulled back in energy, been like, hey, where you at? come out. <laughs> we want to see you. So you could be feeling like you're wanting to get moving in the next couple of months and get out and spend some time with your friends. Um, with the seven of wands, that energy just feels like mm, a little bit guarded. Like eh, I, I may want to spend some time, but I still kind of want to keep my space to myself. I don't necessarily want to overextend myself. All right. So let's see with the recent past. With the ten of pentacles and the king of swords, it's like something happened. It's almost like you had an epiphany moment. And you're like, you know, I know what's going to create the successful feeling that I want to have. You fought really hard to get to a place where you've either found success in your work life or felt like you had control over what was happening. Because we've had so many ups and downs, especially around people's work lives and their money and such uncertainty, um, it feels like just recently you've overcome some kind of feeling of things are not as great as I had hoped or they weren't going the way you wanted. It seems like you've overcome that and they're starting to look really good. The King of Swords, I just feel like you're in control again and you've taken back your power in some area of your life and it feels like around your work. It's like now you're in a place where either you can save again or things are starting to um, increase in your income. It feels like it's a unexpected increase to be honest with you. And I think that now, again, puts you in a place where you feel like you can take back control of the choices that you have. Maybe you felt like you just didn't have any um, just recently and it had you sort of feeling kind of stuck, but not anymore. So whatever this is, you've overcome it and it looks like things are starting to move in the right direction. 
Now, in the current energy, we have the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Two of Wands. Some of you may be opening up to the possibility of a new love. If this is going to happen for you, I feel like part of you doesn't really want to think about how the future is going to look. I think you just kind of want to be in the moment. Now, if you are in a current relationship and things have started to improve in the recent past, I can see that as well. Maybe you had a partner finally tell you, maybe you were just dating and they finally said, hey, listen, I really want to take this to the next level. This is taking that next step to me as well and seeing it like, okay, we don't know exactly where we're going to end up, but things are really good. Um, it feels like being in love with love and also loving yourself. So if you had taken a time out for a bit just to work on you, now this feels like within the partnership, you're not as concerned about the end game. You're just enjoying it for what it is. The Wheel of Fortune says things are definitely going to turn in a great direction. So if you're feeling optimistic about your love life, that's fantastic. For those of you that you haven't yet met somebody, this could also be that that opportunity is going to come. And maybe you're just saying, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, if something ends up long term or I, or I can see an absolute future with somebody, I just like to have some fun and spend some time with somebody and get to know them. The Wheel of Fortune is just good luck in that arena. So keep your eyes open if you're single because this tells me that there's going to be luck and opportunity in that area. Now in the near future, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse with the Emperor and the High Priestess. So where I said that it's like you were taking your control back in your life, the same thing in the future. It's like taking a step from being really sure about things to even more sure than you could possibly. The emperor is 1000% sure. He trusts his intuition completely. And with the high priestess next to that, I'm going to say whatever conflicts or issues or um, obstacles that you had in the past, you have overcome them with leaps and bounds. And that's because you probably had recognized areas where when things weren't going quite right, that maybe you had missed some things or your intuition was telling you, not that you missed it. You may have just said, you know, maybe I'll give this a shot anyway. I just think that you're at a place now where you have mastered this and mastered how to follow those feelings, those, those gut feelings, the intuition, all that good stuff. You've mastered it. And that puts you in a place where you don't have to be concerned. Or yes, there's still ups and downs, but if we can avoid things that are going to create, you know, some difficult times, then of course we want to do that. And if we follow our intuition, then that's always going to be the best route for us. So this tells me that you're going to be in a really strong position in the future and how you make your choices, because you know that you're always going to make them from this place. Now, I feel like I want to say something about a boss energy, like something could be coming up for that too, where, let me see, I'm going to clarify because there's something around a boss and we'll see if it's anything to be concerned about. I don't think so. You may have some openings coming up with the seven of cups, some options around work or advancement, and they're going to look good. Maybe your boss is going to approach you in the near future and let you know that there might be advancement opportunities. And that could be where the Ten of Pentacles is kind of working its way up in the recent past. And you can see how those things could come to fruition now. Maybe you didn't have the, the foresight in the past. Okay. This feels like really great opportunities. All right. Let me see with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So the seven of wands, that's great. This to me looks like somebody who's standing up in front of a group of people. Usually he is a little bit guarded and a lot of people are coming at him, but I feel like this is for some of you, you may um, be presenting and there's lots of people asking questions, things like that. You may be a mentor. You may have a lot of people seeking your advice about things. If you are in that industry and you're looking to make money, I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to be seeing you and seeing your worth. And that, that's something with the King of Swords that it's like, okay, I, I really do have what it takes to do this and people are paying me to do so. All right, with the King of Swords and the Five of Swords, just overcoming a lot of different obstacles. There you go, Seven of Cups, lots of options. Where you may have been confused in the past about how this was gonna work out, I feel like now people are starting to come towards you and 
you can see how this is going to be beneficial to you, whether it's that it, it makes you more money, maybe you get more clients, whatever it is that you do for a living. You may have other opportunities show up that allow you to extend your services if you are independent. If not, this could just be that there um, were other options that you weren't clear about that could make you more money and something is going to come about. A boss is going to approach you and say, hey, listen, I've seen how hard you've fought to get where you are and I want to let you know that there are some things that are going to come up that I think you would be great for. Okay, so let's look at the Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. That being right in the center of your reading is such a good indication that things are starting to shift. Then we have the strength in reverse. So I would say buckle up because it could take a lot of energy for you in the next couple of months because things are going to get moving. And as exciting as those changes can be, when we start having new opportunities in love or we have new things show up for us that we extend our energy to, it can be a little tiring. So I think Spirit's just saying, yes, this is all exciting and great, but be careful that you're not overextending yourself. Okay, so let's look at the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I think things are going to start flowing in a way that it feels like it's not as difficult or as challenging as it used to be. With the Eight of Pentacles, that's usually a sign that we have to put the hard work in. And I think you've already put all that hard work in. So now you're reaping the rewards, really. Um, yes, it was tiring and you put forth a lot of effort to get where you are today. But I feel like that payoff is coming. And it's almost like it's on autopilot is what I want to say. So whatever you've created in your work life, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as difficult. And I'm going to say the same thing with a uh, love opportunity. It doesn't feel like it's going to be hard work. It just feels like, yes, relationships are work no matter what they are, but they don't have to be so extraneous that it wears you out to the point where you can't function. And I feel like that's what's happening. Things are easing up. And it may not seem so challenging and it may just flow a little bit easier and hopefully that's what's going on for you guys in the current energy it feels really good all right so the nine of wands in reverse with the emperor and the hierophant in reverse so they're asking you to have faith that if you were hoping this is going to be for those of you that may be employed by someone that if you were hoping your boss was going to come to you is to not lose faith um, knowing that you had worked really hard to get where you are don't give up hope because there's something's coming and I think you know that your intuition is trying to tell you something so pay attention to that all right so the Emperor and the high priestess and then we have the hangman in reverse yeah because there's whatever energy may have seemed like it was stuck or maybe you felt like you weren't going to advance any further they're saying give it a minute because it's actually loosening up something's gonna free itself up they don't want you to lose faith that yes you can be um, moving forward and that there will be options for you. I want to get one more card with this. With the Emperor and the High Priestess, please. Yes. So there's the clarity. The Ace of Swords is coming through to say you'll have the clarity that you need. So if there's any confusion now, um, in the near future, you're going to get everything that you need. If you have any questions also about a person, uh, you're wondering like, is this the right person? Should I continue to put my efforts into it? If you've been with them for, let's say, you know, some months, or even if you're questioning whether this is the best option for you in the future, now that you've taken back control of your life and things seem to be moving in the directions that you would hope they would, uh, you're going to get the clarity that you need. And this could also be um, another new opportunity for something. Whichever it is, it's going to be very clear to you. All right, so I'm going to clear this and we will get into the person that's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment. Let's see what ends up on the top of the deck, the high priestess. So yes, you're going to be asked and then the ace of cups came out, but kind of sideways to really pay attention to and feel your way through any kind of new love opportunity, especially in the next couple of weeks. We have Mercury retrograde. I don't know why they're saying this, but I feel like this is kind of Neptunian energy where at times we can be a little bit swayed by someone's charm or what 
they show on the outside. Maybe at times you feel like you get a, a good feel for who someone is. I feel like Spirit's trying to say, just, you know, be aware. Be aware of how you feel in your body when you meet new people, when you meet a new love situation, if you're up for that. Okay. Now, if you are with somebody, let's look and see what's going on, or if you just have questions about someone that's on your mind. Let's see if we can get some answers. All right. So we have, for your person, the Queen of Cups, and then the Six of Pentacles the magician and the eight of cups. So the person that I feel like you're dealing with has a tremendous amount of, I think they're trying to find a way to love themselves and to balance themselves out. This is great energy. So they've walked away from something and I wanna say this is something from their past. There's an energy of wanting to leave any kind of unresolved emotions or things that um, hadn't been working for them in the past so that they can focus primarily on this. And if you've been in this for a while and that's somebody, you know, that's not gonna pertain to you if you've been with a person for eight years and you know that their past person isn't affecting them, this could just be them walking away from something difficult. I don't think it's you that was holding them back emotionally. I think they're in the process of trying to find balance in their own life and they're manifesting some new things. I do see a tremendous amount of self-love, which I like because that's emotional stability to me. Now for you, we have the two of swords with the four of swords, the devil, and then the fool. The overall energy is the page of swords. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't really um, see you. They may be primarily focused on themselves, but I think they do. I think they have a tremendous amount of love for you. I think they want desperately to um, try to balance things out. Um, they're willing to give whatever it takes to make it work. I just don't think they want to um, stay in any kind of an emotional, like an overwhelming emotional state. So if things had been going awry or they just hadn't been available to you for a while, it seems like they want to make sure that they make up for that somehow. Now, your energy is the two of swords with the four of swords, the devil and the fool. I think part of you is in a place of, you know, can they? Can we overcome any kind of feelings of um, difficulty? Is Has there been some ups and downs and some turmoil? Probably. So I feel like you're asking yourself, do I stay with this? Do I take a chance? Um, does this person have, uh, you know, some codependency issues? Maybe there was some difficulties there and you sense that and you want to make sure that that's not the issue before you get too deeply involved or if that's what you had been dealing with. <clears throat> it may have been tough for you to decide. They could have had some addiction issues or something could have been creating a problem. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm still getting through this sickness, but I feel like you're willing to take a chance. Um, I just feel like there's part of you that wants to think it through before you make a definite decision. All right, so let's get the romance angels. And then we'll get some advice for you as well. All right. So it says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You may think that there could also just be a lot of heat and passion between the two of you. And that's what you're feeling. Maybe they get you a little bit revved up with that devil card. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. You could feel that kind of a deep connection. Sometimes that can be a little scary too. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I do feel like this is a good relationship. If you're questioning it because you don't know this person all that well, I'd say trust that that passion that you have for them and the push that you have been feeling with the full energy is just saying to go for it. I do think that they want balance in this. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You could be primarily focused on work. And that may be part of um, what's going on with you. And maybe you a little bit scary because you don't want to let go of where you have worked so hard to get with your work stuff. But I feel like this is a good one. I like this. So if you're in this situation now, I'd say that this has great potential. Or if you've been in it for a while, if there's anything to overcome, I do think you will. Let's see what the advice is for you. We have the two of cups. Uh, letting go of any kind of disagreements that you may have and not holding on to any kind of 
um, I want to say frustrations, but then we have the six of wands. So they're saying basically if you've had disagreements, it's not worth rehashing and rehashing. Sometimes you have to agree to disagree. Not everybody has a perfect rapport within a relationship, but I think if you do release some of that stuff, if there've been arguments and you know that it's really not something that's detrimental to the relationship, I think they're trying to say that you'll succeed. You'll get past anything that has been difficult. So just know that. And yes, this person is trustworthy. I don't think you have to worry about them lying or cheating or doing anything like that. It doesn't feel like it. Anyway, that's going to be for those of you. You're going to know if this is your person because you're going to have a good feeling about them and know that you really want to work on it. And it looks like it's going to be successful. All right. Let's get the Lover's Oracle for you. This is for Pisces. All right. So this card wanted to pop up. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Well, we know that. So somebody's coming through for you. If you've lost someone, that's a strong indication they're here with you. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Remember I said you want to let go of any kind of disagreements if there have been, especially if you know it's something you can get past. And then forgiveness. <laughs> okay, so this is about forgiving. If this person did something, obviously, that is crossed a line with you, I would never say Forgive if you don't feel like you can. But if this is truly a soulmate, it feels like it's worth working through. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Absolutely. This is all about releasing anything that had happened that maybe had been a problem for the two of you. Maybe they just couldn't give of themselves enough, but they're really trying to now. I feel like they're going to improve a lot. All right, so let's get a couple of messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Pisces. Whoop. All right, so we are a little upside down. There we go. Okay, so it says come to the edge. This is about taking chances, letting things go, letting the past be the past. It is a nine, so closing out any kind of old cycles and repetitive patterns. You could be born on the ninth, but this is also a three, so it's getting close to your birthday energy. A three or a six, you could be born on the third or the sixth. And then we have a three again. So threes are going to be prominent between worlds. This is where I feel like you've come from. I feel like you've worked really hard to get out of your shadow side and work yourself into your lighter side. And that's what's showing up in your main reading. You're really coming out the other end of it. And things have started to progress, which is great energy. And then co-create. So we have a four. It seems like you've put a lot of effort into co-creating with the universe and you're starting to see the, the benefits of that. And then we have go the distance. So you have two threes and then two fours. Lots of progression and they're saying give it a chance. That reduces to an 11. So 11s could be significant as well. <clears throat> don't give up before you get to the place where things are really, really sweet. Remember I said don't give up if there's an opportunity that's going to show up for you um, in the future. For the rest of you, it seems as though you are on a good path. Things are starting to snowball in a good way, not in a bad way. And then the Unfinished Symphony is great because you started with a 9 and you're moving into a 10. We have 9, 10, 11 actually. But this is about the new beginnings that you have started and wrapping up things that don't matter. We, releasing things is difficult, I know that, but you're doing a really good job of letting go of the things that haven't worked which is great because you're now co-creating and manifesting in a way I think that maybe even you didn't think you were capable of in the past and now you are. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I so appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or in my about section. I hope you guys have a great end of your month and I will see you in the monthlies. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.